Hi, I'm Jeff Arbio. I feel honored and blessed to have the opportunity to make this historic documentary about the sea wolves. I hope you will join us and help get this project finished. Their story really needs to be told, and with your help, we can do that. I want to introduce my father-in-law, Joe Crutcher, who's an actual sea wolf, and he'll tell you a little bit more about it. Thank you. But so many great sea wolves have left a legacy that we can all be proud of as veterans that serve together. And I hope that you will enjoy this film that you're about to watch. The real important message that I have is that we lost uh, 44 brothers during this time and uh, they can't see their story. I think it's important for us to show it to the sea wolves that's still uh, still surviving is because uh, we're all getting older now. You look at me, I'm not so spring chicken. And it's uh, such a uh, captivating story. And I want the world to see it. And I hope that uh, you'll get fascinated by the trailer. You'll contribute. Help us make it possible to show it to the world. Uh, the story has to be told. I got to Vietnam, I was a 19-year-old kid. When I left Vietnam, I was a 20-year-old man. We would go from a dead sleep to full flight in under three minutes, so we were rocking and rolling. Our pilots and co-pilots, they were gods. I mean, because they could put us in and out of places and do things that any civilian pilot probably messed their britches when they start thinking about it some of the things that they did. It was a very strong, strong bonded brotherhood. Uh, we all trusted each other with our lives. Just flew in horrendous conditions. We used to fly at night, 100 feet over the trees. Somebody shot us, we dropped a flare, and then rolled in and shot. <laughs> tasked with a, uh, a workload that was phenomenal because I believe we went on uh, seven days a week, 12 hour days, two shifts, and we did that for a whole year. The people we work with are brothers. They're blood brothers, every one of them. There is no stronger relationship, not even in, within a family as we have within our Sea Wolf Brotherhood. This squadron stood up in Vietnam and stood down in Vietnam, so there's not a lot of visibility uh, in today's world for uh, what we did. I'd just like to see uh, uh, those of us that, that, that were in this uh, event to be able to stand tall. <laughs> we were commissioned in Vietnam and decommissioned in Vietnam and that's never been done before and it hasn't been done since when you go in and, and somebody's taking fire and they're screaming for help and you scramble and you roll in and uh, uh, you know later they're bringing over bring they bring it over some beer <laughs> and dropping at your hoots and you guys saved us yesterday we really appreciate it like i said before we responded to everybody and we worked closely with the seals who were virtually always in combat we worked close with the river boats, and they were always out looking for trouble and getting in combat. Uh, when, when they weren't engaged in using our services, we went out and looked for trouble on our own. And uh, anybody else in the, in the area, that uh, if we were in range to respond, we did. If we heard a call, we responded. That's just the way it was. There was a need for the sea wolves 
to uh, support close air support for the PVRs, the SEALs, and we expanded that to all services, special forces, recon, everyone. Sergeant wants to know, who the hell are we? And uh, I said, tell them. Because they were looking for either Air Force or Army. I said, we're Navy Sea Wolves. <laughs>